We're going to be doing practicing some clouds, white clouds. Um, and I've got a few pictures here that show like a blue sky with white clouds. The important thing when you do clouds is that you don't have a hard edge to them because clouds are soft and they're part of the atmosphere, and so you don't want it to look like they were cut out of white paper and pasted on. You want it to look like they're part of the sky. We're going to be doing um, blue sky with uh, rain clouds or dark clouds. We'll do a sunset, we'll do some rain, and we'll do a streaky sky. It's got like, like either this one, I'll show you how to do this one, which is just streaks, which come from either movement in the sky, often airplanes will cause streaks in the sky, or a sunset with streaks in the sky. So. Anyway, I want you to come up and kind of like get around here so you can see and if you, like if people are standing in front of you and you can't see, you can, um, let's have the shorter people near the front. I'm going to have a lot of paper cut this size. This is the size that I'm going to be using. So to start out, we're going to do probably the easiest one is the graded wash. So um, you'll be using these kind of pallets, not the kind that you use for your boat. Anytime you're doing anything where you want it to look soft and not hard edge, hard edge is like what you use for a building or a table. It's, it's where you can see a clear separation. <coughs> You want kind of a blended color, you want to pre-wet first. And that means painting the paper with clean water first. Because that will give you a surface that will blend the color automatically. So you're going to do that as evenly as possible to start out with. And then start with the darkest blue at the top. And to a certain extent, you can just carry that one color down without getting any more paint, without doing anything different to it. If it's uneven and you want it to look just like totally even blended, you can add white near the areas that are darker. You can do a lot of actual color mixing on the paper. Even when uh, we're later doing landscapes, if you have a color that is too dark or too light or too orange or too whatever, you can mix in the color on the paper without having to pre-mix it on your palette. You just want to have a very smooth gradation of dark to light. And if for some reason you've done all this and it doesn't look darker at the top, you can just add more of the darker blue at the top. Now, if you've done this and you've gotten it so that the color looks graded, but it looks a little stripy, which might come from the brush, you can take a dry brush that's the same type of brush, it's the same exact kind of brush, and just lightly dust over the top of it. And it will help to get rid of those strips. And to a certain extent, after it dries, it will get rid of those strips too. So, Graded wash is the first one. <laughs> and the second one will do, it has the white clouds. For a blue sky with white clouds that look like this, or like this, you start out the same way. You're going to pre-wet the paper because you don't want the clouds to look hard edge. And if you're using blue, you don't have to worry too much about the brush being clean. If you're going to change to an orange sky, obviously you have to have a clean brush. But it's okay for this particular painting for there to be a little bit of blue on there. Okay, and then with this one, you'll notice that the sky is darker at the top, so we'll put the darker blue at the top. And then the critical thing about um, painting clouds is that you paint them in while the blue or the previous color is still wet. And 
you need a round brush. We're using a flat brush to put the washes down. But then you need a round brush, so it would be this one. If you don't have one of these in your tray, you need to get it. Dip it in the white paint without getting it wet. And then you go around and when, as you do that, you'll notice that the white is really mixing, and that's okay for now. You get a lot of blue in there. So, like when I'm doing clouds, I will put them in and then get them where I want them to be. Go back in. Again, this is a dry brush mixing in white paint. If you look at this particular picture, you'll see that the clouds look white on the top edge and they're more blended on the bottom edge. So that automatically happens if you are painting them on a wet surface. If you are going back to try to whiten the top edges. Is it on again? Yeah, it's on again. Okay. okay, so if you're doing this, and what often happens when kids start doing clouds like this is that they'll all turn blue because you're trying so hard to get the cloud the right shape and the right size and the right place that you're working the brush into the blue and so it all of a sudden is all blue. So one of the things that you can do with that is to just let it dry a little bit. You can even let it dry all the way and then go back in with white. And so say for instance this is already dry and you put in some white down in here. and this part is dry, it's not going to blend very well, but because it's tempera, because you can loosen it, you can just dip your finger in water and blend it out that way. And again, round and round and round. So I can, in the case of clouds like this, um, there are several layers. You know, like there's a layer of clouds here and then another layer and another layer. So you can, I mean, I usually paint them all at once, but if you're just starting out doing this, you can do it in stages. Do simple. And you don't want to get them all exactly the same size and exactly the same kind of curve and everything because then they'll, it'll look more like cotton. Another thing you can do is like go back and kind of straighten out the bottom. You'll notice in this picture, there are white streaks underneath. You just add those in. And so if you're adding white, it's just like really lightly. If you paint them in too much, it'll all turn blue, which is okay, because you can always go back and fix it. But something like that. So you'll have a gray wash, and then you practice um, the cloud, the blue clouds, blue clouds, blue sky with white clouds. Um, 